started the build, the usual checking off of all the parts. So we've gone through, as you see, my little uh, sheet to the right there, all highlighted all the parts, gone through, made sure we're all there. We just had a quick test fit of that front bumper, which actually fits absolutely fantastic. And on the wheels, I noticed a little bit of flash in between the spokes. So using a cotton bud, just twirling it round inside there, just snags all the flash and pulls it off. Nothing to really clean up, just the smallest amount of flash, uh, and that's it. So these are all the body parts or parts that I need painting up uh, separately. So we've got some chrome work on the wheels, we've got some carbon work on the spoiler, and then paint work on the body, the bumper, uh, and the wing mirrors, etc. Um, starting off with our rescribing, using our Holly rescriber. We're just going to go through and lightly rescribe all the lines now. I don't tend to do this for any depth. They are normally deep enough out the box. Uh, but I do like to clear out anything that may be in there, maybe from the molding process or whatever. And I just tend to go through. No real pressure on it and just very lightly rescribe. Now, be careful of this. Resin, if you slip, is very easily marked and the scriber will go deep into it, a lot deeper than plastic. So just take your time here. These holly scribers, in my opinion, are definitely some of the best you can get. They're just a little bit more difficult to get a hold of. Um, but the fing fingertip control is invaluable when rescribing, in my opinion. So like I say, just going all around the model, just lightly rescribing all the panel lines, not really trying to add any depth, just clearing out anything that may be in there and any areas uh, that might not be as uh, well-defined. I tend to find on the rear bumpers here, where it meets the inner arch, uh, it's quite often not as well-defined. It just needs a quick run-through to kind of open it back up. Uh, but it's easily done, but like I say, just take your time. You'd be surprised how soft resin is um, compared to plastic, and sanding it back can be a little bit of a nightmare. So just take your time, be careful, and uh, thorough. So really nice body shell on this, nice and clean out the box. Um, the spoiler's already mounted, the actual mounts are already on the uh, boot lid itself, so that makes life a lot easier too. Uh, we're going to go around now with our Tamiya 2000 grit sponge and just scuff all the body up. Now, we're doing this for two reasons. Get rid of anything that may be on the body uh, as an imperfection, which there very rarely is on these body shells. This is actually a hobby design kit, but it is technically alpha. They are one and the same, I believe. Um, but more importantly, we're just going around and putting thousands of micro abrasions in the finish. Um, the thousands of micro abrasions give us a lot more grip for the primer to get a hold of the resin. Now resin doesn't seem to grip paint as well as plastic, so it's a very important stage to do in my opinion. Of all the paint pulls where paint's peeled off over the years, uh, it's nearly always been on resin. So thoroughly key it with some decent uh, sponge sanders like these 2000 grit Tamiya's, and then a degrease is very, very important afterwards after giving it a go over the sander did spot a couple of pieces of mist rescribing and thought we'll just go through again and give them another go so don't forget just because you finish one stage doesn't mean you can't go back and redo another bit uh but i just thought i'd just give it a bit more um depth in the panel line here especially as it's the door because it's quite a prominent one on the model so like I say, don't forget, you can always go back a step. Once you're done with all the sanding and rescribing, an old toothbrush here. Uh, this was my boy's when he was younger. Uh, nice old soft toothbrush. We got all the dust and debris out of those panel lines and out of all those recesses. And just having one final look around the whole kit. A little bit of dust in the light lenses there. So cotton bud in there. Is a good tool. Just check everything because this is where preparation is key. As we always say. Uh, it is a very important step. So another nice soft toothbrush, and we've got some ProScale paint, pre-paint degrease there. Now, the reason I use a toothbrush primarily on resin is to get all the nooks and crannies. There's a lot of light lenses, uh, grills, intakes, a um, lot of recesses. So I want to get the toothbrush in there to ensure we get any mold release or any nasties that may left behind. And don't forget your hands as well. Your hands are prime. Uh, culprit of putting nasties on the bodies of our models you know we emit oil on our skins uh, you could have been eating a bag of crisps a sausage uh, you know anything anything at all uh, we all know if you handle the sausage you should wash your hands anyway 
Um, but yeah, go around with a toothbrush, thoroughly degrease it all. Now, I have actually done it quite the way wrong way around here. I should have mounted it first. Ooh, don't mount it with your sausage. Oh, uh, anyway, back to the build. Um, I've got my painted Bretland Alpha model holder here, made out of some tongue depressors, an old bottle, and some 3M sticky pads. And we're going to stick the model to it to make sure it's nice and secure. And what I'm going to do, the body still has pre-painted greaser on it. Once we've got it mounted, where I've had my grubby mitts, I'm going to go around with a 